Paul Luru, the king of the darknet, the possible creator of Bitcoin, the criminal mastermind. Paul Luru, also known by his online pseudonym, XTC King, or Docs, is a notorious criminal mastermind who has been linked to a wide range of illegal activities, including drug trafficking, hacking, and money laundering. He is believed to have created a vast criminal empire that operated on the darknet, using a network of encrypted websites and anonymous online marketplaces to sell drugs, weapons, and other illegal goods and services. Lu Ru's early life and background is shrouded in mystery, with little information available about his upbringing and education. However, it is known that he was born in Bulawayo, Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe, in December 1972 and that he grew up in South Africa. He is believed to have attended university in Pretoria, where he studied computer science. After graduation, he began working as a programmer and quickly discovered the potential of the internet as a tool for criminal activity. In the early 2000s, Luru began using the internet to build a network of illegal websites and marketplaces. He is believed to have been involved in the creation of several major darknet marketplaces, including the now-defunct Silk Road, which was the largest online marketplace for illegal drugs in the world. Lu Ru's empire also included a wide range of other criminal activities, including hacking, identity theft, and money laundering. Lu Ru's hacking activities were particularly notable, he was known for his proficiency in several programming languages and his ability to exploit vulnerabilities in computer systems. He used this skill set to gain unauthorized access to the networks of various companies and organizations, stealing sensitive information and causing significant financial damage. He is also believed to have used his hacking skills to gain access to the personal information of individuals, which he then used for identity theft and other forms of financial fraud. Lu Ru's money laundering activities were equally as impressive, he used a network of shell companies and offshore accounts to launder the proceeds of his criminal activities and evade detection by law enforcement. He also used a variety of encryption and anonymization tools to hide his tracks and protect himself from prosecution. Lu Ru's empire also included a wide range of other criminal activities, including drug trafficking, arms dealing, and extortion. He is believed to have used his network of encrypted websites and anonymous online marketplaces to sell drugs, weapons, and other illegal goods and services to customers around the world. He also used his hacking skills to extort money from individuals and organizations, threatening to release sensitive information or launch cyber attacks if they did not comply with his demands. One of the most intriguing rumors surrounding Lu Ru is that he may be the creator of Bitcoin. This theory is based on the fact that the pseudonym, Satoshi Nakamoto, the creator of Bitcoin, shares many similarities with Lu Ru's online persona. Some have pointed to Lu Ru's extensive knowledge of cryptography and computer programming as evidence that he could have been the mastermind behind Bitcoin. Furthermore, Lu Ru's interest in creating digital currencies and his desire for anonymity, as well as his tendency to work alone, are also factors that support this theory. This theory remains unconfirmed and there is no concrete evidence linking Lu Ru to the creation of Bitcoin. There is no concrete evidence to support these claims, and Lu Ru has never publicly acknowledged any involvement in the creation of Bitcoin. The true identity of the person or group behind the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto, the creator of Bitcoin, remains a mystery. Lu Ru's criminal empire finally came to an end in September 2012, when he was arrested in Liberia on charges of drug trafficking, hacking, and money laundering. He was later extradited to the United States to face trial. In 2013, he pleaded guilty to several charges, including conspiracy to commit murder, racketeering, and drug trafficking, and was sentenced to 25 years in prison. While Lu Ru's arrest and subsequent conviction brought an end to his criminal empire, the impact of his activities on the darknet and the world of online crime continues to be felt to this day. The marketplaces he created, such as Silk Road, served as a model for countless other darknet marketplaces that have sprung up in the years since, and his use of encryption and anonymization tools has become standard practice among cybercriminals. Lu Ru's influence on the world of online crime is not limited to the darknet, his hacking skills and use of encryption and anonymization tools have also had a significant impact on the broader field of cybersecurity. His activities helped to demonstrate the potential of the internet as a tool for criminal activity, and the methods he used to evade detection have become increasingly sophisticated and effective over time. Lu Ru's case also highlights the challenges faced by law enforcement in investigating and prosecuting cybercrime. 
the use of encryption and anonymization tools makes it difficult for law enforcement to track and identify suspects, and the global nature of the internet means that suspects can often evade prosecution by operating from countries with weak or non-existent cybercrime laws. Despite these challenges, Lou Roo's arrest and conviction serves as a reminder that even the most sophisticated cybercriminals can eventually be brought to justice. It also serves as a cautionary tale for others who may be tempted to engage in similar activities, as the risks and consequences of getting caught are severe. In conclusion, Paul Lou Roo is a notorious criminal mastermind whose activities on the darknet and in the world of cybercrime have had a significant impact on the world. He created a vast criminal empire, which included illegal activities such as drug trafficking, hacking, and money laundering. His use of encryption and anonymization tools made it difficult for law enforcement to track and identify him and his activities, and the rumors that he may be the creator of Bitcoin, the world's first decentralized digital currency, added to his mystique. He was eventually arrested in 2012 and was sentenced to 25 years in prison. His arrest and conviction serves as a reminder that even the most sophisticated cybercriminals can eventually be brought to justice and the dangers of engaging in such activities. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you on the next one.